Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose. And in this video, we will see balance a binary search tree problem, which is from lead code number thirteen hundred eighty two. And a prerequisite before watching this video is to watch my video on check if a given binary tree is a BST. So the link for this video will be in the description below. You can go there, watch that, and come back to watch this video again. This topic is based on balanced binary search tree. We will discuss all the follow-up problems at the end of the video, so stay tuned till the end. Are you ready to take your programming skills to the next level? Well, you are at the right place. Welcome to our data structures and algorithms live interview training program, Interview Dose. Get ready to dive deep into the world of efficient coding and problem solving. In Interview Dose, you will get a solid understanding of key data structures such as array, stack, queue, heap, trees, and along with that, you will also master powerful algorithms based on on math geometry graph and dynamic programming what sets interview dose apart from other courses is the live interactive format you won't just be watching the pre recorded sessions but you will join me along with other passionate learners in real time where we will be covering the concepts together imagine having the opportunity to ask questions engage in discussion and collaborate with your fellow learners it's a supportive community where we all grow together but it doesn't stop there we will dive into hands on coding exercises solving real world problems Problems. and you will get to work with the interview assignments that will showcase your newfound expertise taking interview dose has already been a game changer for a lot of students and working professionals it didn't just help them to improve their coding skills but also boosted their confidence for tackling complex problems the live interactive sessions make all the difference unlock your coding potential by taking the first step forward contact us on whatsapp for more details let us now look at the problem statement in this problem given the root of a binary search tree return a balanced binary search tree with the same node values if there is more than one answer then return any of them a binary search tree is balanced if the depth of the two subtrees of every node never differs by more than one so it is talking all about the balance factor let us now look at some examples for better understanding let me just recap about what exactly is a binary search tree for a binary search tree given any node if it has a value x then its left subtree must have all the values less than x and the right subtree must have all the values greater than x this is true for all the unique values in a binary search tree but if you don't have unique values if you can have repeating values then we can take equals element on the left side or on the right side whatever uh, but take it just on one side and be consistent with your uh, assumption and your code as well now in this case if we talk about only the unique values then let's see if the first tree given is a binary search tree so if the root node is 7 then all the elements in the left subtree must be less than 7 and all the elements in the right subtree must be greater than 7 is this true yes it is true in this case right so uh, the property is true for 7 but we have to recursively check for all the internal nodes it's not like uh, if the root follows the property it will always be a binary search tree let's check for 4 if we are at 4 then all the elements in the left subtree must be less than 4 and all the elements in the right subtree must be greater than 4 so yes this is also true and uh, leaf nodes are not required to be checked now if we go to the right hand side let's check for 9 all the elements on the left side must be less than 9 and all the elements on the right hand side must be greater than 9 and this is true as well therefore we can say that this is a binary search tree but if you do the same kind of checking on the other tree that is the second one you will again say that this is a binary search tree but this is not the case why because in the first scenario we didn't exactly uh, check it with the range of numbers like the root node is allowed to have any value in the range of minus infinity to infinity which is actually excluding the infinite values right so we can have any value at the root node but as soon as we go to the left hand side the range will get divided now if i have all the unique values then the left hand side will have range of minus infinity to 7 but not including 7 because all the values are unique in this case which we are assuming so is this 4 falling in this range yes now this 4 will actually divide this range into two parts in such a way that the left hand side will have minus infinity to 4 not including 4 the other side will have 4 to uh, what 7 but not including 4 and not including 7 is this 2 falling in this range yes is this 5 falling in this range yes so these all nodes are uh, actually following the binary search tree property now if we check on the right hand side the range will be from 
7 to infinity not including 7 and not including infinity this is 9 yes it is falling in the range hence it, the range will get divided into two parts on the right hand side you don't have any element so no need to check there on the left hand side the range will become 7 to 9 not including 7 and not including 9 but this 6 is outside of this range therefore this 6 is not following the BST property hence this tree is not a BST but the first tree was a BST if you check with this range bifurcation I have already discussed this in detail with code in my video on check if a binary tree is a BST so you should watch that now once the recap has been done if a given tree is a binary search tree then by property in order of a BST always gives you a non decreasing order of element that means ascending order of elements so let's say that this is a BST yes it is a BST now the height of the BST can be order of n because it can be a skewed tree as well like it is given in this case so how to actually balance it now a balanced BST is a binary tree where the height is guaranteed to be of the order of log n right so how to guarantee that the height will be order of log n so before moving on to the solution let's just see the expectation right so this is the given question and you can derive the in order by doing the in order traversal on this given tree and you will always get non decreasing order of element now if you balance this then you will not have just a single unique tree but you can have multiple balanced binary search trees I have already given three possible answers there can be more possible answers as well so we have to return any one of them all of the answers are correct so we don't care about uh, which answer are we returning but it should guarantee a balanced BST now let us look at the solution now the solution says that the step number one is finding the in order which will give you non decreasing order of element that means ascending order so you can easily do that by in order traversal now the second technique is based on the Mersort algorithm or you can say something like binary search where binary partition on ascending order element maintains the ascending order and what do I mean by this let's see if I have to do binary partition on this like we do on merge sort then we will take a low on the leftmost side and the high on the rightmost side and we will do low plus high minus low by 2 which will give me a mid value now whenever you get a mid value you have to make this as a node so make this as a node and then in the left subtree you move this 1 comma 2 and in the right subtree you move this 4 comma 5 with new ranges on the left hand side you pass this as low and this as high on the right partition you pass this as low and this as high right now if you again find the mid value for this you will see that this particular value will be the mid value and so make this as a new node on the left hand side actually you do not have any problem on the right hand side you just have two so this will be your low and this will be your high so this particular value will be your mid so make it as mid and there will be no other values now you will actually go back in recursion backtrack and then on the right hand side you will see you have a problem 4 comma 5 make 4 as the mid value because 4 is your low value and 5 is your high value on the left side you don't have anything on the right side you just have 5 which is low high and mid all these values are same so this will be the final structure if I redraw this it will look like this you have 3 one on the left side then you have two on the right side then you have four like this and you have five so this will be the final structure and this is guaranteed to be a balanced binary tree so the important intuition for this problem was to know that if you do binary partition on ascending order element it will become a balanced binary search tree this is the important point to remember what was the time complexity that we took the step number one took order of n time and uh, this step will not take more than order of n time so it will be n plus n which will be order of n now don't confuse this second point to be n log n because we are not iterating through all the items but just we are finding mid using low and high and array random access is already order of 1 so if we are doing it n times it will be order of n so the time complexity is order of n and since we are creating a new tree you will see this in the code that I am creating a new tree therefore the space complexity is order of n now let us look at the code and uh, once we are done with the code we will look at all possible follow-up problems
This is the code for the problem of balanced BST. We are just given the root node. As we know that the first step is to get the in order. So this is the code of uh, traversing and uh, getting the in order into an array. So I will store all the in order values in the in order array. And after that, we will call the construct balanced BST. So this particular code is based on your divide and conquer just like your merge sort algorithm using binary partition. In this case, I am sending the in order array which is a sending order array. And then I am passing the initial low value which is 0 and this is the high value, right? And so whenever we go, we just check the boundary condition of low should not be greater than high. Otherwise, you just calculate the mid value, right? And uh, simply make two partitions. You create a new node at the current position, store the current value there and then make two partitions. So one will be from low to mid minus one and the other side will be mid plus one to high. And this is your entire recursive solution. Let us now look at the follow problems. These are some of the most important follow-up problems which you can get. Actually, this algorithm is based on divide and conquer. So anyone can ask you questions based on divide and conquer. The code is very similar to merge sort. Hence, you should know the implementation and working of the entire merge sort algorithm. This algorithm is also similar to binary search, which uses binary partition using low, high and mid. Very similar to your quick select algorithm or you can say quick sort algorithm as well. Then. You can be asked questions on balanced binary tree. What is a balanced binary tree? And one such important implementation is an AVL tree. So if you have a lot of time left in your interview and if the interview is meant to be much more harder, then you can get how to implement AVL trees. So this is very, very important. Generally, people ask theory questions on red black trees, uh, but we don't expect any interview question on red black trees apart from a couple of theories. And then this is also an important question. Check if a tree is a BST. This question can come if you did not explain this current problem properly. And so uh, the interviewer might check your understanding on BST. I hope this video was helpful. If you want the PDF of this entire video lecture, then do follow us on Telegram. The link will be in the description below. You can also follow us on Instagram where we keep updating about the interview tips. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.